What's good everybody? It's your girl Joanne Gray and I'm back today with another full wig review. Today's wig is from the It's a Wig Company. It is called Spike and Spike is in a number 1B. Spike from It's a Wig in a number 1B. This wig I bought from the beauty supply store. You can find it online no more than 25 bucks. Um, at ebonyline.com and I'm sure there are other places that you can find them but the price is right over at Ebony Line as well they're having a sale right now so go over to Ebony Line and look at their wigs they have some really nice selection in full and lace wigs human hair and synthetic okay so on to this wig it is an extreme style so I decided to wear the extreme necklace and the uh, tapered down earrings or toned down earrings to go with this do. This wig is an extreme spike wig. I'm going to go around for you so you can take a look at the wig. On the side view, you notice that the wig is tapered along the sides and the back and it frames the ear. The back of the wig is tapered as well. Um, these aren't spiked, or at least they don't come spiked, and I haven't manipulated this back tapered edge here. Then you've got the spikes, and then if you can look into the back of the wig, or the top of the wig, and then for the side here, you've got the longer spikes on this side. Okay, so when you get this wig, <laughs> take it and put it on the mannequin head. Maybe work with it on the mannequin head. I left it dry without putting any product on it and when I put it on my head this morning I looked like Fred Flintstone with the Grand Poobah hat and it might still look like that to you but I wouldn't come to you today if I didn't love it okay I think this is a cute wig but it's not for everybody everybody cannot wear every wig it's cool now before, as I said, it was it was a really spike. It looked like a a blowout kit, like a afro that was straightened out completely, but that it was cut into some strange cut. So, um, after looking at myself in the Grand Poobah hat for a little while, not only that, it's a one B, and I usually get a two or maybe a mixed color. Um, the mix for the Spike, if I'm not mistaken, probably came, did, I think Spike had colors like red and blue at the beauty supply store, not, uh, you know, uh, Auburn tip or something like that, but just like really extreme clownish type of colors as opposed to a color that you could actually wear outside as a mature adult. Now, um, what I did was I ended up putting the wig shine on there in the blue bottle and I sprayed wig shine all over the wig and then just began to manipulate them because the wig just kind of spikes out I started with this side and just kind of took the hair and brought it around to kind of frame my face and I didn't do any cutting or manipulating to the wig at all this, it comes just like this but if you can imagine it just being more spiked out and blowout kit afro-ish so I just took it and started training the hairs to go in a certain direction and then of course I like this side of my hair I, I like one of those like the Bob's big boy I like that little flip that he has in his hair and so I always spike my wigs like that to the front to get that little spiked edge there and then just kind of made everything follow suit. Everything else kind of went around. This was the longer side of the hair and it was a little bit more difficult, you know, more of a challenge to do. But I just kept going around and spiking the wig up and now I think it's really cute. I mean, you just have to have a degree of confidence level out of this world to rock a wig like this outside or to go to work with it or, or whatever. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it, but I'm really glad that I decided to spray it. And as you all know, I hate to put products on these synthetic wigs, but um, sometimes it calls for it. And I think it ended up coming out a lot better than it started off. 
and you can do whatever you want to do with the spike these spikes you know they don't have to come forward they can come forward you know they can go back you just train it to kind of frame your face and do what you want to do with it if you want to cut it then you can do that but I just I really didn't think it required any cutting whatsoever just a little manipulating and styling and I really like the wig I really like it so I give it two thumbs up for those of you ladies who are bold and sassy and really like to be different and creative um, and just just different in general and that's me you never know what you're gonna get with me I you know I have long hair one day and the fight boy cut the next day so you know I just this is just me and I think that you ladies would look lovely in this wig just try it experiment with it okay I don't wear um, I'm not a makeup wearer so I have no idea of all the makeup but I love watching you ladies do the tutorials what I did was I just I bought some LA colors and I just you know put a little LA colors just on the bottom lid and then I used some you know just some cheap mascara for the lip gloss I found this what is it called super lip shimmer absolute and what I did was I just um, I put the pink color on the top lip and I put the brown color on my bottom lip and did this. <laughs> now that it took all of you know five seconds to do. And uh let's see the earrings I bought from the beauty supply store. They were ninety nine cents. They probably came with a necklace of some sort. I figured I would um, not distract from the major necklace down here by wearing the, just some simple earrings, but I just felt the hoop would look better with this style. Okay, this earring I bought when I was back home in Cali from one of those, oh gosh, I don't know what they call it, but some little store where you can buy all these accessories and you probably spend $10 and get, a, you know, I think this bracelet was one of the things I got along with this necklace. and something else and you spend you get about you spend about three thirty three a piece for everything. Really inexpensive jewelry. And I, I can't think of the place to save my life. But anyway, yeah, I thought this was a cute uh, necklace and I've been wearing this necklace. I've had it since July of two thousand nine. So it's still silver, which is awesome. And the top well, I bought this from the beauty, uh, not the beauty supply, the place across next door to the beauty supply store, the thrift store. I'm not really sure what this top is. It's got these sleeves. <clears throat> and um, they're just weird sleeves. I'm not sure. It, it looks like this. And it has two pieces on each side. But I thought it was unique. It was 99 cents. I knew you'd only see the top half of me and <laughs> I thought it would be cute uh, to go with this hairstyle. So, God bless you. Thanks for sitting and watching me today. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell your friends and come back later. I'll be back with another wig review.